Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's session, we're going to be looking at Into the Hardcore of Technical Analysis, Part 3. In this session, we will continue with the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD indicator, as seen in Example A. This time we are looking at the USD JPY chart with a 5 minute time frame. We have colour coded our MACD, which consists of a histogram as denoted by the green and red stripes, which move above and below the zero axis. Also, there are two moving averages which move above and below the zero axis. Some MACD indicators do not support the two MAs, preferring a single MA, but they are supported in our version. The basic idea is that when a histogram has formed a peak and then moves towards the zero axis, followed by the two moving averages crossing over and also moving towards the zero axis, this gives a trader an indication that a pair is about to reverse direction. Traders also use this to gauge convergence and divergence, which also helps them establish if the market is running out of steam or about to reverse. In positions 1, 2 and 3, we can see that the moving averages of the MACD mimic or converge with the 13 and 26 period moving averages around the price action. This is a clear indication that the MACD is in sync and therefore reliable at this stage. In example B of the same chart, we take a look at divergence in closer detail. At position 1, the price action is moving lower at area A and the MACD histogram is keeping in pace with it at area B. Price action then continues to move lower under both sets of moving averages, in itself an indication of bearish continuation, and again we see a low at C which coincides with a lower peak of the histogram at area D. Everything is working in unison at this stage. However, at position 2, price action begins to flatten out at area E, and although this coincides with area F on the MACD histogram, the second push lower in price action at area G is not matched at area H on the histogram. This is now an area of divergence where the indicators are moving away from one another and tells traders that a push lower is fading and may be about to reverse, and by looking at our chart we can see it clearly does. Traders also look for divergence in the moving averages of the price action chart and in the MACD as per example C, because they also constantly throw up areas of divergence where traders need to constantly monitor for clues as to trend continuation and slowdowns and reversals. Example D is another area of divergence that traders keep an eye out for. As we can see in position 1 and 2 where price action remains above its own set of moving averages but where the histogram falls below its own moving averages. This can often signal that price action may be about to pull back. In example E we can see that the overall activity of the MACD is above the zero axis and this is supportive of the overall trend which is bullish. When studying your charts keep an eye out for areas where the histogram and the MAs cross over above or below the zero axis as many traders often use this signal to enter the market. The MACD is also useful in telling traders about momentum. It does this by depicting how far the histogram and moving averages are moving away from the zero axis. The further the distance the greater the momentum. In example F, we return to our daily time frame chart of the EURUSD pair, and where we look at another favourable indicator, the Bollinger Bands. This indicator is placed over the price action chart and consists of a moving average, together with an upper and lower band. These bands are based on statistical two standard deviations from the mean price. As standard deviations are a measurement of volatility, the bands adjust themselves to the volatility in the markets depending on the current volume. When markets become more volatile, the bands widen, and when the markets are consolidating or less volatile, the bands begin to contract and move closer to the average price. It is estimated that over 90% of price action will remain within the Bollinger Bands. Therefore, traders look for opportunities to go short or long in order to bring the price action back within the Bollinger Bands. They are also trying to gauge when price action will begin to pick up and then force the bands to open, and this will result in extra volatility. Tools that can help a trader to depict reversals in price action to coincide with the Bollinger Bands would be momentum indicators and stochastics, which show when the market is overbought and oversold. When these tools combine together, they can be very powerful in a trader's armory. Here at Forex.Academy, we recommend that traders should only display the indicators on the charts that you will actually use. And remember, indicators are an indication of something happening in the markets. They are not a clear prediction of future movements. Also, don't blame the indicators when a trade does not work out. No matter which indicators you use, you still need to be comfortable taking losses in trading and be mindful that not every trade setup is exactly the same and therefore no matter how many times you use a successful setup, it will not produce winning trades 100% of the time. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.